Welcome to Siva 718. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for all the new subscribers we received lately. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you can always be updated anytime we release a video. Guys, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the M player and how to use it with the Fire Stick remote control. Now, there's been a lot of questions on how to use this app with the Fire Stick. And I know it may look a little complicated, but it's really simple. So we're going to go over it. It's going to be a basic tutorial, a basic instructions on how to use a Fire Stick. Okay. So if you are a little confused, this will hopefully clear up any questions that you have. Now, I'm going to use a customized M player. It has its own background something that you're not going to find guys you're not going to be able to find this particular customization okay now there are people out there who can create you your own app you can actually head over to the end players website download the app for yourself okay guys now with that said guys if you want to know what i'm using to charge this particular player head over to the telegram group i will send you over to the individual who charged my app okay guys stay tuned Okay guys, let's jump right into it. So at the moment, I have the M player loaded up. I have it on a channel that's um, gonna continue to rotate because I don't wanna show any fees at this moment. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some basic instructions on how to utilize your Fire Stick remote. Now, there's a few ways to get into different areas utilizing this app. So for me here, what we're gonna do is we're going to press the uh, center of the circle button on your Fire Stick controller. When you do that, what's on is going to show, and then you press down. When you press down, that brings you to the quick menu. Now on the quick menu, you're going to see your channel list. You can select the EPG if you have a catch up, sports. Then you can also access the regular menu, child lock, search bar, your favorites, your multi view, time shift, record, movies, and TV show. Okay. So this is one way to access some options. Now, as you can see, I can actually enter the menu area by selecting this. I can do it that way. Another way to do it on your Fire Stick remote control, there's the three lines. There's a button with three lines. It's called the hamburger menu option. So you select that button. It'll bring also your menu options as well. So that's two ways. Let's do that one more time, okay? So first way, select, enter. Now select down. The second way is to select the menu button to bring up your menu button on your sidebar. Now when you're here, you have the option also for your live TV, your movies and your TV shows. If you have your Fire Stick with um, an external memory, USB, you can utilize these options to save things. You have your account manager and you also have options here okay now there's more options now we already did the select and down we also did the uh select the menu now another option is press left now this is how you enter a different menu let me show you it'll first bring you to your categories select left again these are your different section of categories. Select left again, and it'll bring you to the actual account that you're using. And over here, this is where you have your, your playlist. Now, let's come out of here. Now, 
remember we select the left we went all the way to the uh, categories into the playlist but now you can also hold down the left button let's hold it down and that'll bring you to a different area right here it'll show you your current playlist the settings live movie account and then we can also select the current playlist to get you back to where you was at before okay so let's come out again so let's go over it again now hold down a select button you press down brings you here select the menu button it'll bring up this menu hold down the left button and it'll also bring you here you can also just select left to bring you to your different categories once you are at this area you can hold down the button and you can force an update or you can delete the playlist so these are several ways that you can enter different menus here now let's let's go through the menu so this is the um the area where you can um do account manager you can add an account so if you have more than one playlist you can add a playlist here Okay. Now let's hit the uh, menu button. Okay. Now let's hold down the left side. And is it a lot of TVs, movies, TV shows, account manager, same thing. Now, another option you could do is from here just hold down the select button and that'll bring you to the display modes play pause resize external player this section here okay and then from here you can head right into the uh, the menu button the menu area or Let's hold down the middle again the settings okay so now the method I believe is the best is just to hold down the center button because it'll bring you here and then from here you can select whether or not you want to go into the menu section or the settings area okay so for the settings area this is where you do all your customization your buttons, your advance, your EPG. You can also mess around with the, the playlist, your groups, channels, all the things here subscription info, parental controls. It's pretty cool. You can um, change your group's positions. You know, one by one, you can go through these things. Movies and series. This is where you can add your Plex or your Embry as well I have a video on how to add the Plex server you can check that out and this is where you can do some other things had the settings too from there as well now um I did a video on how to uh, add channels and remove channels so if you want to look at that video you can check that one out as well I'm not going to go through that again, but I did have a um, question about the movie section. So real quick, let's head over to the uh, movie section and let's select a random movie. Now, um, when you select the movie, you have the option to, to play it or add to your favorite um, mark as watched. But let's hit play. 
Now, once the movie plays, remember if you have a fire stick, you can select the center of the circle. You're playing a pause situation. So, if that's a question that you had, how to play in pause, you can just select the center of the controller to do that. Okay. You also have options on the bottom here subtitles, closed caption. If you want to utilize an external player, you can select it and choose an external player. I don't have nothing set up on this device, but if you have like a VCL or MX player, you can play it there. Okay. And then you can also use this option to head back to your live um, streams. So this is how this works. It's real simple. You just got to take your time to learn everything, you know, but like I said, different options. You can press the select button, press down. You can hold the select button. You can press left. You can hold left or you can just press the menu button. Okay. Then go through it and it's very simple. Okay, guys, real quick tutorial. Just want to remind people on how to use the app. You know, you can go through it one by one. For more complex um, tutorials, you can go through the uh, through the channel. I have a little bit more complex tutorials, like how to do the Plex server. And if you have any more questions, leave it down in the comments below, and I will help you out. With that said, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.